Hello and welcome. I am today, I mean, they've been out for ages. Everybody is using these, this little piggy uh, by the Fluid Art Co. Shelley's um, pigments that she uses in the bloom technique. But what I'm trying today is I'm not going to try the actual bloom techniques. I want to see what these babies do um, using a completely different recipe and it might be a disaster um, just in that I'm going to um, not do a, a bloom bloom but I'm just going to use them to do a different um, technique. So what I did was I put my oops a days my pigment into the cup into my little cup now I added my kiss pouring medium to wet them all down it's completely not the Shelley art recipe so I'm not claiming it is I am just experimenting so I used the keep it simple pouring medium wet them all down then when they were wet down I used the global uh, medium and varnish to kind of making my own paints for this piece that I want to do so I am using today the Mermaid um, I'm using oh my goodness Ed Chiveria Ed e, e Chiveria I can't say it can't say it can't say it can't say it I'm not using that one today I am using the honeycomb and I am using this lovely, uh, looks like fluoro groovy, so it definitely is fluoro. And I'm using the sequins, I'm not using that one. So I'm going to see, and that was the lovely, a really good spatula, that one, much better than my spatulas, the uh, Fluid Art Co. So Shelley and the team sent me these pigments. Um, so I had a lovely little treat opening them but I really want to just start my journey with the little piggies trying um, to see if they work for me in in all different techniques not just the Shelley Art Bloom technique I will give that a go after or in time but I just wanted to see if I could just use it for something that I've you know used a technique that I've used before so I really want to do a, um, a cut pour first. So this is with my, I'm going to do the cut pour just with my global acrylic paints mixed with my keep it simple pouring medium. So I'm going to do a cut pour, so a dirty cut pour. So this, that is a very, very pale pink and that is a dusky pink. So I'm going to, that looks as though it's got some bits in it. Oh well, mixed media for sure, for sure, for sure. This might not work out at all. Now I'm going to top that up with just this very pale pink. Looks like an ice cream sundae. Yummy yum, yummy yum. I haven't got the cloth. Just one second on silly jilly. Okie doke, right, so, ooh, that's pretty. What I might do with this is, um, look at that already, <laughs> is just pour it like this. And I think I've got it much more pink than I wanted. I don't know what I've put in this paint. As I said, I've mixed it with my pouring medium and it's already giving me these crazy ghost cells. So... Let's see how this goes. So this is a technique I've done before, but I'm going to see if I can use the pigments as my little um, botanical effect on this piece. I might not use all those colours in this particular piece, but oh, that is so nice on its own, isn't it? Wowzers, trousers. So it's just a gentle tilt. And then I'll tilt it back. Wow, that's really nice. So I am going to, I'm going to use some of the 
uh, little piggies pigments and I'm going to use some of my global colors so 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 and I'm going to start off on the very bottom with um, this is called I think it's dark sea might be dark sea or deep sea I'm not sure this is very runny so I'm hoping that it will work out and then I'll go some of that sequins one it, it might completely not work at all I have no idea but I am certainly going to try it and then the greeny one which the colour I can't say and then I'll go what was that colour? honeycomb I should have remembered that one and then groovy 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 then I might pop a little bit of just the cool red on top which is just a global colour and then back to this sequence I have no idea but we're going to try it and then I have got the same um, cell activator what as they use for the Shelley art technique which is this one is Amsterdam paint mixed with Australian Floetrol but it's going to be quite an experiment to see if those colours work nicely together or they even work you know using pigments so let's give this a go so let's give this a go never know Well, I've got tons of cells, tiny tons. There's my little. Mm. So I just wanted to, like I've used my paints to do this effect many times, um, like a botanical effect over, and I just wanted to see if you can make your own, use your pigments to, you know, do any technique. And obviously, you can. I've obviously got some of the lovely. Um, Lit, you know the famous bloom cells in there but I guess that's because of using the Australian Floetrol over the top of um, those pigments and paints but as to my question is you know will the um, pigments work making your own colors and things up then yes they certainly do I'm going to bring you down to have a look at that so that's the technique with the um, Shelly Arts Little Piggy Pigments. Well, there you go. There is some areas... Uh, it's not actually breaking up. It just seems like that red doesn't look too crush hot in there. And I guess the colour of the pigments um, has kind of got swallowed up by my crazy undercoat there because I, I'm actually not sure what's going on um, with that but it is gorgeous for sure so there you go you can use the pigments to make up and mixed with you know using your um, impasto paints and the pigments together works beautifully because that's a nice little botanical effect there so I will try the pigments I guess now doing a swipe with them I will try that I just had a go I wasn't going to use any more of the pigments in this particular piece but I just um just to show you this this is just the Amsterdam paint over that um the base and I just want to show you how gorgeous that
Wow, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous, just on its own. <laughs> that Aussie flow troll certainly is miracle stuff, isn't it? And obviously nobody can quite match it. Um, but yeah, loving that. It's something different. And you've got to give these things a try, for sure. So take care, my lovelies. That's the end of that little piece for you, the test on that. Today I'm going to test the pigments on um, something else next.